In my opinion, iPhoto is one of the most underrated Apple apps. So today I'm going to show you five quick, super easy tips to get you mastering iPhoto in no time. So let's get started. A lot of people don't know that you can actually edit numerous photos at the same time. Hold down shift as you select your photos, so it highlights all of your wanted images, and then simply click edit. This way, if you need to tweak a group of photos, you can compare them side by side so that you can make similar adjustments to multiple images. Enhance, which can be found under edit and quick fixes, is one of those amazing tools that just works. And only with one click. You can change a boring flat image into a work of art that rarely pops. But what if that one click enhance needs a little bit more finesse? Whilst in edit mode, click on the adjust tab at the top and you can see that certain sliders have moved up or down. Then you can tweak them to your heart's content. Sometimes you need to be reminded what the original shot looks like to understand whether you've edited your photo too much. Just hit the shift key and it will show you your original photo. Then simply release the shift button and it will revert back to your changes. You could be really happy with adjustments you make to one picture and want to apply the same settings to a selection of other photos. Well, unfortunately you can't make a preset, but you can copy and paste. Just go to edit, copy adjustments, edit, paste adjustments to your next photo. The downside to this though, you can only do this whilst in edit mode, which means you can only paste adjustments one photo at a time. It's great to use the places tab within iPhoto. It can remind you exactly where you were when a photo was taken which is great for when you're showing off vacation pictures. So my final quick tip is adding location information manually. Simply highlight what you'd like to add the metadata to, whether it's a full album or a few selected photos. Then click on the info button found at the bottom right of iPhoto. Then you'll see a location tab and all you have to do is type in the location you'd like the images to be geotagged. It's as simple as that. So there you have it, five super easy iPhoto tips but there are tons more you can learn. If you want to see more videos on iPhoto, hit the like button down below and we'll make sure it happens. Until next time, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll see you next time.